Welcome back to another Pledge to Podium video. Something a bit different today because I have been streaming my races in entirety on Twitch, so I've decided it's probably time to start looking at YouTube as uh, a bit of a coverall. So we're going to talk about the top five things I've learned about sim racing after a week of playing. But mainly on Project Cars 2, a little bit of a Seto Corsa, but we'll use that as the sort of guide from here. Let's get started. Number one, it's much harder than it looks. I'm um, coming from Forza and Gran Turismo and uh, Need for Speed. Um, this is different. They're arcades. This is a sim. There's real game mechanics, real world conditions like it's raining here, as you can see. And you need to factor that in. Um, you can't just fly and drift into every corner thinking you're going to come out the other side okay. Your chances are you're going to spin off like crazy for the first few hours you put into it. Every car's different and you need to respect that. Number two, start slow. As I said, it isn't arcade racing. I highly recommend when you jump into one of these small sim-based games like Project Cars or a set of Corso, that you spend some time on some of the lower power cars like a Baths or in Project Cars like I've been using the Genetas. It gives you a good understanding of what it takes to race in the sim world because it's all at a sort of slow down, low power rate and slowly tear up your cars from there. It'll give you a much better understanding of what to expect when you move forward. Number three, having a wheel really adds to the experience. I think the main draw to sim racing is the fact that it's more immersive than a video game experience. You're trying to recreate the real world conditions of driving a car fast around a racetrack and a wheel certainly going to add to that. I mean, these a lot of these games, particularly on console, can be used with controller, but I think if you want to really have it feel like a car, then you want to gonna go get a wheel. And a good set of pedals as well. Definitely, that goes a long way. Number four, embrace driving line guides if your game has them. So like on Project Cars, which I'm doing at the moment, you'll see it on the screen there in the background, there are driving lines and gauges. Uh, the, the big thing that I'm finding really handy with them, more so than the driving line, which I'm starting to get used to now, is the braking zones. Um, and braking's a really big thing early on, like coming out of arcades. Coming out of arcades, you have a tendency to fly into and fly out of corners. And in sim racing, that's just you, you're not going to get anywhere with that. And you're not going to have a good time. You're going to go careening into walls. Uh, but number five, it's really fun. And I wish I'd done this a lot sooner. I've been meaning to get a wheel and get into sim racing for a really long time. I've always gravitated towards driving games. And I, I've had a lot of friends that have got into sim racing and have told me how good it is, or at least I've observed how much they enjoy it. And it's something that I've been kind of meaning to do. And it actually took this pandemic and more time at home to make me go, you know what, now's the time. But I wish I'd done it sooner. The community's been really embracing. I've, I'm getting some good feedback on these videos and people are reaching out to me, strangers offering me tips and hints and suggestions. And online as well, like in the lobbies when you're running a race online, which I've only just started doing in the last 20 or 48 hours, people have been really nice and really encouraging. Obviously, when the flag drops, they're out there and they want to try and win, but they're about growing their community. And that makes that a lot easier. Anyway, guys, they're the top five things. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, links in below on the Twitter and the Twitch channel that I stream live on. Um, all feedback is welcome too. I'm totally a noob and I'm learning. So whatever you feel like sharing with me, some it's stuff I'm willing to take on board. Keep an eye on Twitter for the next time I'm racing on Twitch.